Hello guys, so welcome back to another lesson in, uh, in VHDL. So uh, in this recording, we're gonna do the BCD other design too. So in the previous recording, we, we or lesson we did, uh, the first design, the straightforward one. I showed you, you know, the five K maps uh, of each one of the outputs of the BCD others, you know, uh, the carry out and also the sum, okay? And in another video in the lectures, we show, uh, you know, uh, the details behind both designs, design one and design two. And design two, we said it's, uh, it's uh, a similar design because basically you're gonna instantiate two binary others. So you already have one. So a package, for example, then you're gonna instantiate it two times. And then you're gonna design uh, very simple circuit, this 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 circuit here to and the gates and the or uh, for the carry. And this carry will it choose, you know, the second uh, or the added, you know, uh, uh, number for the second four bit binary other. We said that we, we noticed that there is a, a relation between uh, the carry, okay, of the overall operation. And also this number here is a number that will be added to the second, you know, uh, other. So we said that if the number is between Z, if the sum here, okay, is between, or if, if the two numbers have a sum that is between zero and nine, this will be zero. So in that case, the carry will be zero. So these two bits, all the four bits will be zero. So basically the sum here is basically will be the same as the sum here. And when the addition of the bind is the, of the two uh, origin and the add and your BCD numbers that you want to add is greater than nine from 10 to 19, then the output here <coughs> will be five bits. And the carry here will be one, like for example, 10. Uh, when we have 10, for example, if you add five plus five or three plus seven, whatever, you will get here four zeros and this guy will be one, okay? And basically at that time, this sum here, Z8, Z4, Z2, Z1, if you add six to it, it will give you what you want, okay? So at that time here, the carry will be one. So this will be zero, one, one, zero, which is six. Okay, that's basically what we want, okay? Good, so uh, let's now, you know, explore the code for this. The code is really easy. So because basically you will have you will instantiate two of these others one one instantiation here and another instantiation here then you implement also this circuit for the carry let's do that let's explain that so in the beginning you have this instantiation for this uh, first four bit binary other so this instantiation has input of x uh, so i call uh, the origin x and the add in the y okay these two inputs here so the two BCD numbers that you wanna add them together. And I called the output here, this Z8, Z4, Z2, Z1, X2. You can call it whatever. And this carry is K, I call it K, okay? So I have here two, I need here two signals. One signal to represent the sum, uh, which is X2 and it is, you know, standard logic vector four bits and another signal for the, for the carry bit K, which is just standard logic. Good. Now C, the carry out. The carry out is basically C, okay? So uh, I call it in the beginning CN also, you don't need to do that. You can just do it in one shot, okay? But I call it CN as a signal, then I assign the CN to C, which is the carry out. But you can just, you know, do it in one shot. I mean, right here, C and that's it. So C or C N is uh, K or Z8, Z4. I mean, this this and or Z8, Z2. That's basically what we have. But I don't have Z. I, I just called them uh, in one uh, variable or one signal called uh, X2. So basically, I'm going to add Z8 uh, and Z4, which is Z of three, X of three, or X2 of three and X2 of uh, two. Uh, and then uh, Z8, Z, Z2 will be X of three, X of X2 of, of one. Okay, that's it for. Then remember you have here another uh, addend for this second binary other. Okay, I call this input Y2. 
Okay, so the input here is just one signal called Y2. Look, Y2 of zero all the time zero. It's zero here. And Y2 of three is also zero all the time. And Y2 of one and Y2 of, one, uh, of two is just equal to the carry. Okay, yeah. Uh, so I so I, I apologize here. There is a mistake that I did. So I called you, I, I told you that you can just name this C because basically C M is C, right? This is not, will not work here, okay? Because, because you cannot, if you, this C is, out, is an output, okay? And you can't put an output as uh, the right hand side in any equation here, because basically this is an output, okay? So this will be the function of this, like y function of x, okay? So this is a dependent, we can say, the, I'm, this is a dependent variable, like in, you know, programming or math, okay? So you can't write it you know, on the left hand. The right hand side is only for the inputs and the signals. That's why I did a signal called the CM, to, uh, to take care of that. So CN here can be on the right hand side, and I'm uh, sorry, the right hand side, and the left hand side as well. But C is not. Okay? Well, uh, anyways, y, Y1 and Y2 is equal to uh, CN here, as you see. Then I instantiate the second binary other, other two. Okay? And again, if you have two instantiation of the same package, you must name them differently. Other one, other two. And this labels, you know, can, just names, you can name them whatever, okay? So other two rebel carry other board maps, then you have here the inputs and the outputs. The inputs is X2 and Y2. The outputs is the sum, the basic sum of the total circuit. This sum is a BCD sum, I mean. And uh, you, you <laughs> and the carry is, uh, it should be C here. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. So the carry here is just, you know, uh, it has no value, we can say. It's always zero. So the carry of that binary other, this four bit, is always zero. But we don't need it. Remember, the five outputs of this design is the sum. And this carry out that is, you know, uh, executed or calculated using this, this circuit in here. Not this carry of this, of this other. So this is just this will be just a, you know a dummy signal a dummy wire you have in the it's like you have a chip, okay? This chip has uh, eight inputs for example, but for your application you're gonna use you know uh, seven inputs and you will not use one of the you know one of the inputs. So this this leg in the chip will not be connected to anything something like this. So I created here a second signal called the C two and I just connected to this you know. To this output, okay? Because you must put everything. I mean, you cannot board a map uh, with anything, you know, less than or, or with, you know, I mean, you cannot make a board map. Uh, once you make a board map, you should add all the inputs and the outputs. You cannot leave something float, okay? That's why I created this C2 signal and added it. Although I will not use it, I just use it here and that's it. Just because reach did require me to do that. But it has no other, you know, usefulness in this in this program or this this code here. And finally, since we have a carry carry output, the carry output is just equal to this carry C n. Okay, n here not don't don't mean n. I mean input to the to the to the to the, to the design. It's, of course, it's not an input. Uh, it means internal. So it's an internal signal, basically. Okay, guys, that's basically the design. Now we, let's explore the test bench. The test bench is exactly, exactly equal to the test bench of the first design. This design here that we did in the last video, okay? So I just, I didn't change anything. So let's now combine all of that. Oh, zero errors. Let's now simulate that. So this should be this is the other version two test bench. Here it is. Okay. Then we uh, this will be very simple test because basically it is only from zero to nine. It's a BCD. Okay. So yeah, let's now start simulation. So we have maybe a hundred. So. Again here, uh, 
the xn and yn are from 0 to 9. Okay? Why? Because remember, this is a BCD adder. So in a BCD adder, sorry for this, in a BCD adder, both inputs are BCD numbers from 0 to 9. Okay? So that's why, uh, you know, uh, I change uh, the input here from zero, not from zero to 15, because 15, which is four ones are not a BCD number, it's a binary number. But 15 as a BCD is five one, two digits, five one. Five is uh, zero one, uh, zero one, and uh, one will be just one, one, three zeros. Or you can just ignore these three zeros and just keep it one. So it will be five bits, okay? That's basically why I'm changing the output, I'm sorry, the, the test from zero to nine, not from zero to 15, just like the binary other. So let's go back to our test bench here. Let's change those to uh, the radix to unsigned. Good. So let's also mark the sum and the carry with one. I'm sorry, with different color, like yellow, for example. Also the carry. Yellow again, and let's just run. Yeah, that's it. We have less than 100 cases. Let's also zoom out. Okay, so zero plus zero is zero, zero plus one is one, zero plus two is two, you know, and on all these cases, the carry is zero. Okay, finally, zero plus nine is nine. Now let's go to one, one plus one is two. I didn't it start to be the second uh, variable from zero because we, I, uh, I already do the test, uh, which is zero plus one here. So this is zero plus, so I know that the result is was correct. So one plus zero is zero plus one, okay? That's why I started J here from I, not from zero, okay? Because I am just wanna, you know, uh, uh, make less cases and don't repeat, you know, the already done cases. So. Uh, the case of zero plus one is already done here. So don't repeat it, okay? Good. One plus two is three until one plus nine is 10. 10 in BCD, okay, is, is, is five bits, not four bits. Okay, remember the output is also BCD. So the output here, if you look at our design, the output is BCD sum, okay? So in the design here, uh, one plus nine is 10. 10 is four, two digits. The first digit is four zeros. Then the uh, second four, four bits or the second number, which is one, is one, zero, zero, zero. You can just ignore the three zeros and you will have only one. One, this is basically the carry, okay? Then the first, uh, you know, uh, variable become, or BCD number become two. So again, I will not, I will start to be or YN from two, not from zero, because I already did, uh, two plus zero or zero plus two here. And I already did one plus two, but I didn't do before two plus two. That's why I starting from two. So two plus two is four, two plus three is five until two plus eight is 10, two plus nine is 11. 11 is two digits, one, one. One is one, zero, zero, zero. Then the second digit is one also, so one, zero, zero, zero. So just exclude these three zeros and just keep the one, okay? And so on. let's explore one of the, you know, the, yeah, eight and nine, for example. Eight and eight is 16. 16 is two digits, six and one. Six is zero, one, one, zero. And the one is one, three zeros. Again, exclude the three zeros, you have only one. Then eight plus nine is 17. 17 is seven and one. Seven is one, 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 zero. One is one. And finally, Nine plus nine is 18, 18 is eight and one, zero, 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 one, this is eight. And then the one which is the carry, that's why the carry here is one. Okay, guys, that's it for the, you know, for the BCD uh, other design two, okay? I hope this was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in another video, bye-bye.